Welcome to the 2022 Monster Jam World Finals, home of the RC Monster Jam World Finals, right here at the Pit Party. Let's get it on. Got a mess. As you can see, we had some difficulties to overcome, but that didn't stop this crew. All right, Jeremy, what are you thinking about this so far? It's, well, the weather keeps messing everything up. Like yesterday, everything was tight packed and dry and we were like hoping for water and now it's flooded and inconsistent. Like one lane over here is starting to pack in and the other lane is a swamp. Uh, I mean, we're, we're seeing LMTs get caught in ruts and rolling over. Like these are 12 pound trucks. They should just be plowing through it. So it's gonna be an interesting day. Like as the sun comes out, hopefully uh, the other side of the track will start to RC drivers to prepare. We're gonna reset up a little bit. Yeah. Well, so reset get your consistent. competition. All right, I'm going to go on record here and let you know that I tried my best to capture as many races as I could, but I did not capture them all. I was trying to get all of the quarterfinal, semifinal, and final races, but I missed the first two quarterfinal races because I was trying to repair one of my trucks. So I hope you guys understand and enjoy what I was able to capture. Jay Concept, Fred Reed, taking on Pennsylvania's Mike Eaton, and they're off to a good start so far. Close the gap and across the line at Soldier Fortune by one. Monster Jam, baby! Drivers, three, two, one, go! Off and running, Jester with the whole shot stabilizer. Oh, Jester gets into the turning cone. No harm, no foul. He's got a lead so far. Watch the crossover. Oh, for the big rig! That little squirrel is flying. Oh, almost a collision there. Oh, and Jester is off the track. He cuts the course. That'll be a DQ for Jester right there. Lucas Oil Stabilizer gonna get the better of the two times. Off and running, Rose almost got hung up there in the starting line, but they're motoring down. Digger's got the over portion first, whiplash on the other. Second part of the track here, and Johnson got a good lead. Jessica trying to catch up across the final turn and the jump. The Graves Digger with a big slap wheelie at the end. Drivers are ready. Second round competition starts now. Drivers, watch for green. Overboard, that beautiful custom American flag body out of California. Strong speed down the first straightaway. Up and over, right over the top of Black Pearl, who high side it. Going to be giving the win to Trevor Adamo in the Overboard Warpath Chevrolet. Into the final eight trucks. The first truck to reach the final eight. Green lights go, both drivers get a good first turn and a strong first straightaway. Eaton Tumble's gonna go back on his wheels, he won't. And that's gonna be an automatic advance for the built for top, Blue Thunder. Drivers ready, watch for green. The BKT, that's a Losi LMT. He's gonna try and take out the freestyle RC Jester. Up and over goes Ethan. Good turn for him. Good turning for Tony. BKT opening up a small lead. And it's the BKT monster with big air moving on into the top eight. We're going to red lights on. Watch for the green. The 40th anniversary of Grave Digger. Josh Rose would love to put him into the top eight. He's Doing a good job on his first pass, but Josh Zimmerman is right on him. Digger will have the fast pass part of the track, but he gets hung up. Going to be giving the win to Terminal Velocity. Taking on the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior, trying to be truck number three into the final four. Drivers ready. Watch the lights. Trevor's been good on an initial start, but Bakadon got a, a fantastic start himself through the over, through the under they go. Lap number two in the crossover, oh, a nice save for the Dragonoid. Great clips, Mohawk Warrior pulling out in front. Final turn, final jump, Mohawk Warrior grabbing the win right there. Trevor Adamo staying fast. And that will be one to watch in the semis. Watch for green. 
Good start for Ball Trucks. Zimmerman jamming on the brakes and Ultra Loco to get it to pivot. He's got the under coming up. Oh, he's got the tire falling off his rim. Can he still stay ahead of Avenger? Avenger with a big slap, really. El Toro Loco off the track. Avenger across the line. And Avenger is going to grab the win. BKT on the line, ready to go. Trevor Damo waiting patiently. He's bringing it overboard in the starting gates. The trucks are ready to go. The RPMs come up. Drivers, watch the lights. Winner going to the finals. It's overboard and BKT. Oh, and over. BKT rolls it over. Overboard going to the finals. Trevor Adamo, overboard Chevrolet coming to the final turn. And a great job for Trevor there. Podium race for third place, so that'll be on deck. So BKT was out of it last race, so he'll be back to the podium race, and he'll face the runner-up of this race here. But this is the get into the finals right now, and the Avenger Chevrolet pulling in to that blue lane. Will it be Avenger? Will it be the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior? We're going to find out in just a minute here. The drivers are ready to go. The reds are on. Drivers watch for green. And they're off and running. Both trucks down the back. As they go. Here comes Avenger over the top first. Avenger. Great Clips Mohawk Warrior doing a great job as well. Final turn coming up here as Avenger trying to motor into it. He does. And Avenger's going to the finals. Avenger, your winner. Slap wheelie on the landing for Avenger. Bringing up our third place race, a podium spot on the line between BKT and Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. Gonna be a war out here today as the trucks inch their way into the starting gate. And we're ready for the third place podium race. Drivers ready, watch the lights. Side by side as they enter the crossover portion. Oh, Mohawk Warrior! Oh, makes an incredible save, but it's cost them some time, and Trevor's gonna have to make up the gap. BKT over the crossover, down the stretch, and into the final turn, and third place goes to BKT. But we have one more to settle it. The final round, the championship race. All right, so what do the drivers need to be thinking about right here, Mike? Uh, well, smooth is fast, but fast is fast. So they gotta go as fast as they can, but with smooth cornering, and the fastest one to the finish line wins. So stay on all fours. That's the biggest thing, man. This afternoon. But see, but both these guys, you know what? Both these guys are awesome. You're not even recording. Are you? <laughs> both these guys are awesome. He's on the West Coast. He runs his own league. He designs his own chassis. Ethan's young, and he's been cleaning up on the East Coast. So this literally is East versus West right here. Watch the lights. And we're running. Down the back stretch they go. Final pin. Avenger gets over that turning car. Gets a little sideways. He recovers. Overboard. He'll be working the outside of the crossover up over the top. Avenger throttles up into the final corner. Here comes Overboard. Final jump. Yeah! That jump is your winner. Yeah, one thing about Ethan, man, Give it to the 25th anniversary Avenger. Ethan Saunders out of New York. Fantastic job doing the driving. Let's hear it for Trevor Adamo as well, the runner-up. Great job, all these RC Monster Jam drivers. Avenger comes bringing back over to this side of the track. And Avenger, Ethan Saunders, your winner. We're, We're here with Ethan Saunders, Saunders just took the, the win here at, at Monster Jam RC World Finals. You just, you just took, took that win over Trevor Adamo. Not an easy matchup. matchup. How, How is that going? going? No, it's it's crazy. Crazy. This, this, this morning, morning there was an, an entire pond right in the middle of the track. track. So we, we spent, spent all morning, morning getting the track, track together so we could race with fans. fans. The, the track, track has been changing throughout, throughout the day. It was tacky all the way through and then started going to the end. It got even looser, which made it more of a challenge. But we got the win of Avenger! Let me hear you scream! Yeah! Good job, old man. Thank you. Thank you. And fans, don't forget. It's At 145, uh, we'll be doing the next years. bracket, which is an all Grave Digger race. It was tough getting down here through COVID Digger and everything else. Trucks. We finally made it. And then this is all about him. Fourteen uh, Monster Jam all right. drivers. All right, guys, we're here with Ethan Saunders and his winning trucks. He took first and third place at the RC World Finals here in Orlando at Monster Jam World Finals. Tell us how the experience has been. 
I mean, so far as the second day here yesterday, we did a lot of practicing. The second day, it's been probably one of the best experiences I've ever had. I'd like to thank Barry from Sauer for inviting me back. After 2020, I was supposed to go, the world shut down. And he said, hey, you guys want to come back? Think. I'll thank him for that. And so you came back. This is your first time here? Yes, it is. And you took first place. Tell us about that race. Uh, any nerves or what was going oh. through your head as you were up there? Oh, there was nerves on the line, definitely. You know, with the track changing all day this morning, or last night it rained, and then this morning we found a lake right in the middle of the track. Spent all morning thrashing to get that track together. Like you said, it was tacky. I rolled my truck over. I was just experimenting to see how much of a difference I need to control my throttle and steering compared to practice when it was loose out and with traction, obviously the track was going to be a whole lot different. Alright, and so what trucks are you running? What kind of things uh, do you have under the hoods? So these are both low C LMTs. One's mo one slightly modified and the other we modified a lot on. Okay. Run an Avenger, the winning truck, and then BKT, the third place truck. So what tires and uh, rims are you running? These are J-Concept Renegades tires, blue compound, and running the Tribute wheels. And on this truck, actually both trucks, we're running the Freestyle Adapters so that you can, you're able to fit these fit these uh, Tribute wheels onto the Losi LMTs. I'll definitely like to thank J-Concepts for sponsoring me. They've been helping me throughout my entire career. And to be able to represent them here at Orlando, it's, it's an honor. Thank you. Good job, man.